All right, so this is just a quick video to show you the new servo saver that I made for uh, my XR10 F off, um, I guess Formula Off Road vehicle. Um, used a regular servo saver before, but I figured since I'm making everything different on this build, uh, I decided to make my own kind of servo saver. Uh, if you decide to use a regular servo saver, then you would be smart to do so because they are proven to work and they're pretty cheap but what I decided to do on my build was to actually keep my regular uh, servo horn and make a servo saver the way I wanted to make it uh, since uh, you guys can see my other videos I decided to use something that you guys are familiar with this is the actual air shock absorber that I had on my um, well one of the ones that I used on my um, Mad Torque 1 8 crawler what I did was cut the tip off and put this rod end in there just to make it a little bit longer I actually put two springs in here one on each side of the piston to give it resistance on both ways now the way this works is let's see if I could put it here so you can see the difference If you look at it, it works just like having a rod in there. Only difference is when it reaches the end, it actually has a little little gap, just like a regular servo saver. Now the only difference between this and another servo saver, I want you guys to see that it's actually all the way. Boom, all the way. Anyways, only difference between this and another servo saver is that I can play with the, the actual resistance that I get from the servo saver by just swapping the springs there you go that's the aluminum air shock that I had on my 1 8 mat, uh, mat torque I had to change this piece right here the um, steering arm to this side because obviously if I left it on the original side that you have it would be too small of a distance to put a shock in there but anyways the point of this is that I want it to be different now it's pretty rugged it's a strong design I ran with it today I didn't have any problems with it I am going to start using this to play around with and uh, hopefully it holds up again let me take it to the end now that's the end point and you can see that the servo still has a little bit of room to go I kinda like the fact that I can do this because when you have um, just a servo horn in there and you reach that bottom oh, that's kinda hard <laughs> when you reach the bottom the servo wants to keep going which causes damage to the servo when you're already bottomed out now right here see that there is give on that shock so that's the whole point of it you guys enjoy